China prepares for its first manned moon mission. Four Chinese students have volunteered to live in a sealed laboratory in Beijing to test a self-sustaining ecosystem. The project is in preparation for China's upcoming manned moon mission. The laboratory, known as Lunar Palace One, has an area of 160 square meters and consists of one integrated module, which houses living facilities, and two plant cultivation modules. Four Chinese students will live in the sealed laboratory for 200 days. Plants and silkworms are being grown inside the Lunar Palace to provide food for the crew. Oxygen is generated by the plants, which are fertilized by the crew's waste. It is the first bioregenerative life support base developed in China. One of the main objectives of the experiment is to determine the mental impact of living in a confined space for an extended duration, as well as living without sunlight for a period of time. The project is known as the Lunar Palace 365 experiment. The first group of volunteers has already lived in the lab for at least 60 days. The third group will live there for 105 days. The total length of the experiment will last 365 days. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more on similar self-sustaining systems and more on China's space exploration. Even in space, you have to eat your greens. NASA hopes its astronauts will be able to keep up their veggie intake on future missions to the Moon or Mars, thanks to a greenhouse project it's working on with the University of Arizona. The prototype lunar greenhouse is cylindrical, measuring 18 feet in length and more than 8 feet in diameter. The garden uses a hydroponic system, in which water enriched with nutrient salts flows continuously through the roots of the plants. Carbon dioxide exhaled by astronauts can be absorbed by the plants. In return, the plants produce oxygen for the astronauts through photosynthesis. The exchange forms a bioregenerative life support system. NASA's Veggie Plant Growth System was the first fresh food growth experiment on the International Space Station. The space agency hopes to provide a more sustainable approach to long-term exploration on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. China just achieved some spooky action. China is leading the pack in terms of quantum space experiments after the country announced that it had set a new distance record for beaming entangled particles from space to Earth. A photon can be split into pairs of entangled photons by a laser beam. The entangled photons influence each other. If one photon changes its state, the other reacts instantly by taking up a state relative to the photon. The photons remain engaged even when they are separated by great distances. Quantum communication could greatly enhance security, as any interception of the information will alter the state of the photons, giving away the eavesdropper. The experiment was conducted from the Missius satellite, orbiting 480 kilometers above Earth, as photons travel more smoothly in the near vacuum of space. The team produced entangled photons by sending a laser beam through a light-altering crystal on board the satellite. The photons were sent to two receiving stations in Dalingha and Lijiang, 1,200 kilometers apart. Opposite polarization states were measured at the two stations, confirming the entanglement, otherwise known as spooky action, was achieved over a record distance. Although the hack-proof communication system is still a long way off, China uses various other ways to control the internet. Dubbed the Great Firewall of China, the government prevents Chinese netizens from accessing sensitive topics and foreign websites. The wall was fortified early this year by blocking virtual private networks that could allow users to bypass the firewall and gain access to restricted sites. Other methods the government uses to influence the internet include posting fake grassroots comments on social media websites. China sets out deep space exploration plans. China on Tuesday published a white paper outlining the country's activities in space for the next half decade. The Chinese government plans to launch and land probes on Mars and the Moon by 2020. The lunar mission is set for 2018, and if successful, would see the first ever probe being landed on the far side of the Moon. China also plans on robotically exploring the Moon's poles, China's Mars mission is slated for 2020. China plans to send a lander, rover, and orbiter to Mars all in one go. 
There, China aims to collect samples from the planet and transport them to Earth by 2030. China also aims to explore an asteroid and the Jupiter system, with the latter mission expected to take place in the next 10 to 15 years. If any of these are successful, they have the potential to set the People's Republic of China on the path to becoming a space power that could rival Russia or even the U.S. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. China announces launch of Mars probe missions. China has revealed artist images of technology set to explore Mars in 2020. The State Administration of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense has announced its probe mission launch in hopes of retrieving data from the Red Planet. The probe, housing the lander, which in turn carries the rover, will be launched on a long March 5 rocket from Wenchang Space Center in China's southern Hainan province. After orbiting the planet for nearly seven months, the lander will separate and touch down in a low-latitude area on the northern hemisphere of Mars. The rover is equipped with six solar panels and designed to operate for three Martian months in this low sunlight environment. The rover weighs in at around 200 kilograms, much larger than its predecessor, the Jade Rabbit or U-2 rover. The new rover will be able to carry 13 payloads, including a remote sensing camera and a ground-penetrating radar. China would be the fifth country or grouping to orbit Mars, behind the U.S., Russia, Europe and India. A public competition for the name and the logo of the 2020 mission was also launched. China forcibly relocates thousands to make way for a giant space telescope. More than 9,000 residents in southwest China are expected to be displaced from their homes before the completion of the world's largest radio telescope later this year. The 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope, or FAST, cost 1.2 billion yuan and is being built in China's Guizhou province. The telescope has a diameter of 500 meters and is made up of 4,500 triangular panels. 4,350 of which are movable. A retina weighing 30 metric tons is suspended by cables 140 to 160 meters above the center. Once fully operational, the panels will reflect radio signals from distant parts of the universe towards the retina where they will be collected. 9,110 residents who live within 5 kilometers of the telescope are expected to be relocated, with each receiving 12,000 yuan in compensation. Puerto Rico's Arecibo Observatory, which measures 300 meters in diameter, is currently the largest telescope of its kind. FAST is expected to claim the title upon its completion in September.